Today in the closet, I wanted to talk to you about fur. It's a highly divisive topic. There's been a lot written about it. Uh, in response to market demand, luxury brands are halting the sale of new fur products and the mistreatment of animals is never acceptable. The alternative, faux fur or fake fur, has been on the market for decades. But what's new about this debate is the research that's coming through about the contamination of the world's waterways from synthetic fibres and the fact that synthetic fibres do not break down. When the majority of our clothes are going to landfill, our faux fur could be there for hundreds and hundreds of years. Research is showing that over 80% of the world's drinking waters is contaminated by synthetic fibres. So um, there is no moral high ground on this debate. And sometimes I think in um, focusing on the fur industry, are we just going for the low hanging fruit? The leather industry by comparison is vast and, um, and the chemicals used in the working conditions for those workers in um, unregistered tanneries are, are dire. So um, in focusing on, on the very small fur market, are we really just failing to address where the real issues lie? The other factor that um, is often not included in this debate over fur versus um, fake clothing is the topic of vintage. What about the clothing that is already out there? So this is um, my vintage fur coat. It's, um, its lining has gone now. It's um, from the 1920s, I believe it's Russian. And without its lining it's actually not as easy to put on. Um, and it's got the, and you can see from the style, it's very 1920s, these great big cuffs, fur collar, and um, these huge bakelite buttons as big as saucers. This coat was given to me by my friend Eve. It was her grandmother's coat and has done three generations of women. And if I look after it, it might even do a fourth. That is the ultimate in slow fashion. And while we wait for this new generation of leathers to come through to be mainstream, and a choice between plastic clothing or vintage fur, I'm going with vintage fur, but it's a really individual choice and do what's right for you.